Welcome to the treasure hunt. Before you start, make sure you got everything in the following list ready. The metal detector, the shovel, headphones, the fine pouch, the pin pointer optional, and a hat. P.S. Don't forget to dress light and comfy. This is what a fully assembled metal detector looks like. Tie the entire cable around the stem all the way down to the bottom. This will enhance the accuracy of the device. And here are a few counter examples that you do not want to follow. Make sure no other metal detector is switched on around you. Only switch on your metal detector when all interfering signals are cleared. Before you use it, hold it up for a while and wait until the digit stops fluctuating. You may adjust the volume by pressing plus or minus and switch modes by pressing mode. 1. In all metal mode AM, your device can detect all types of metal. Two, in discriminate mode, you may add or remove metallic targets simply using the plus or minus button. Three, in memory mode, swing the desired target under the search coil, so the device will automatically search for the same type of metal. Four, in jewelry mode, the device will not respond to the majority of nails or scrap irons. The four modes mentioned earlier are more compatible with detecting a relatively larger area. While detecting, move horizontally and even speed without raising or jolting your device. For more detailed instructions, please check the user manual. Check the surrounding environment to see if a larger area contains any metal. If so, press the sense button and then plus or minus to adjust the sensitivity level. Once the metallic target has been detected within a certain area, switch to the pinpoint mode to further locate the target within a smaller area. First press the PP button and then raise the device. Once the screen stops flashing, aim your device at the previously detected area once again. Don't start to detect directly before adjusting your device to the proper setting. The closer you get to the target, the stronger the signal will be. Normally speaking, the pinpointed location should be in the center of the coil. Rotate the handle onto the shovel and then adjust the angle to preferably 90 or 180 degrees. Press lock to set the angle and start using your device. Congrats for completing your treasure hunt. We believe that you've got some great finds. Now it's time to pack the device, gloves, headphones and shovel back into the finds pouch that comes as a free gift with your purchase. Fold the coil upward to shorten the metal detector to its minimum size before you pack. Zip it up and it's time to head home. Next are a few tips on using the metal detector. Since large metal objects like home electronics may interfere with the signals, avoid using the metal detector indoor. But if you really have to, make sure to adjust to the minimum sensitivity. If the sensitivity is set to high, you won't be able to detect anything via audio signals because the device will keep beeping constantly. Since metal detecting activities are banned in certain places, do check relevant local laws in advance before detecting any destination. If you're uncertain, please refer to Panky's official site for more info. Though the metal detector is waterproof, its control box is not. As a result, ensure that the control box stay out of the water when using the device in water. When detecting near the sea, the seawater and salt content in the sand might somewhat interfere with the metal detector. In this case, you may either wrap up the coil with tapes in advance or rinse the coil with clean water afterwards. This is gonna help you avoid future concerns.